More than 84 planes have been reported missing since 1948. These planes vanished without a trace, and despite extensive searches and advanced equipment, only half a dozen were found. These mysterious disappearances make us wonder how it is even possible for a commercial plane with hundreds of passengers aboard to vanish off the face of Earth without a trace of debris or dead bodies. And while most of the planes are never recovered, there was one flight that returned 35 years later, with the passengers still on board. The only difference was that they were long dead. This is the story of Santiago Flight 513, a commercial airline that took off on September 4, 1954, and landed on October 12, 1989. Imagine two towns on two opposite sides of a mountain. If people from one town wanted to visit the other town, they would have to travel all the way around the mountain to get to the opposite side. But if they wanted to get there faster, they could dig a tunnel straight through the mountain to create a shortcut. That's the idea behind a wormhole. A wormhole is like a tunnel between two distant points in our universe that cuts the travel time from one point to the other. So instead of traveling for many millions of years from one galaxy to another, under the right conditions, one could theoretically travel through a wormhole to cut the travel time down to hours or minutes. Since wormholes represent shortcuts through space-time, they could even act like time machines. You could enter the wormhole at one point in time and emerge from the other end many years into the future or past. Human fascination with wormholes and time travel isn't new. And while we understand these concepts theoretically, there's no evidence that you could travel through a wormhole or time physically. However, every now and then, an exceedingly bizarre event surfaces that makes us question if such travel could already be happening around us. It's not unheard of for planes to disappear, but there's usually evidence of what happened during those events to indicate that the aircraft crashed. For example, debris, luggage, or records of the pilot radioing for help. However, there are cases when aircraft set off from one point but never reach their destination. There are no reports of distress, not even bad weather to pin the blame on. They are just never heard from again, with nothing left behind. One such aircraft was the Santiago Flight 513, which disappeared without a trace. But this story is even more shocking because the plane reached its destination 35 years later. How could that be possible? Maybe the Santiago Flight 513 is proof that wormholes exist in our universe, but we will let you be the judge of that. Before you pick a side, let's find out exactly what happened to Flight 513. On September 4, 1954, Santiago Airlines Flight 513 departed from Aachen, West Germany, for Porto Alegre, Brazil. It was an 18-hour flight, and everything about the aircraft, the crew, and the passengers appeared normal. The aircraft was a Lockheed Super Constellation, a four-engined plane renowned for its dependability and extensive range. Santiago Flight 513 had taken many similar intercontinental flights across the Atlantic Ocean, as it did on the day it went missing. On that particular flight, the plane had 88 passengers on board with four crew members. When the plane took off, nothing seemed out of the ordinary, but the aircraft mysteriously disappeared over the Atlantic, supposedly lost forever. But here comes the twist. 35 years after its disappearance, the plane suddenly reappeared and landed perfectly at Port Allegra's airport. Everybody at the airport was shocked. How could it be possible for a plane that went missing 35 years ago to land at its destination as if nothing unusual had happened? But something unusual had happened, and the airport staff found that once they entered the plane. Inside the plane were the skeletal remains of 92 people, all in their seats and seemingly undisturbed, except for the pilot, who was very much alive and still clutching the controls. Did the aircraft travel through a wormhole? only to emerge 35 years into the future? Why did no one survive the journey except for the pilot? The tale of Santiago Flight 513 has all the hallmarks of an urban legend. It has horror and mystery and sits right between the realm of reality and magic. But is it true? To test the authenticity of the Santiago Flight 513 story, we must look at the facts. First of all, there are no historical facts relating to an airline called Santiago Airlines. Secondly, 
the city of Aachen is not known for a significant international airport from which a transatlantic flight could depart. Then there's the lack of official aviation records that would testify that Santiago Flight 513 ever disappeared or reappeared. Similarly, no news reports from that era highlight this supposed major event. No credible news outlets are known to have reported Santiago 513's disappearance in the 1950s or its reappearance in 1989. The first time the story surfaced was on November 14, 1989, through the Weekly World News, a U.S. tabloid famous for publishing fictional news stories. And finally, the tale of the mysterious 513 defies all known laws of physics and biology. After all, it is impossible for a plane to stay in the air for 35 years without refueling, not to mention the impossibility of human bodies turning into skeletons within the controlled environment of an airplane. So even though the story of Santiago Flight 513 has captured the imagination of people around the world, the lack of tangible evidence suggests that it is simply an urban legend rather than a historical fact. But it's important to remember that every legend has its roots in real-life stories. And while the legend may sound like a stretch of the imagination, there's always some truth in it. The story of Santiago Flight 513 may be fictional, but other tales of missing planes are as real as the invisible air around us. One of such stories is that of Malaysian Airlines Flight 370. On March 8, 2014, the Boeing 777-2000ER aircraft of Malaysian Airlines, carrying 239 passengers, including 12 crew members, suddenly went missing on its way to the Beijing Capital International Airport. Within just an hour of takeoff, the plane lost all contact with the air traffic control, triggering one of history's most expensive hunts that involved multinational search parties. But despite their best efforts, the Boeing 777 was never found, and on March 24th, the Malaysian government announced that the flight had been lost somewhere in the southern Indian Ocean. The plane disappeared without a trace, leaving the families of passengers devastated. Since July 2015, several pieces of debris have been found on the shores of various islands in the Indian Ocean and the east coast of Africa. Authorities have confirmed that some of those parts may belong to MH370 based on their serial numbers, markings, and paint patterns. The debris findings suggested that the plane broke apart on impact with the water and that the currents and winds carried the fragments across the ocean. However, this is just a theory. Even after a decade, researchers haven't found any conclusive evidence as to the fate of MH370, making the disappearance one of the world's biggest aviation mysteries. What do you think happened to MH370? Did it, too, travel through a wormhole? And can we expect it to emerge somewhere in the future? Let us know what you think about the Santiago Flight 513. Is it just an urban legend? Or could the story be true? Smash the like button, subscribe to our channel, and press the notification bell for more videos.